Well, what is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Uh, today on the table in front of us, we have, well, we have my VDK collection, and uh, there's a reason for that. Now, I got a number of these in sort of a strange order. I actually got the Impaler first, and then I got the Vice, and then I picked up the Talisman, and uh, shortly after that, I picked up this. This is the uh, War Admiral version 2, and I love these knives. Uh, Vlad over at VDK has got a really sort of unique design aesthetic, and uh, one that appeals to me greatly. <laughs> uh, just a lot. I love everything about these knives. Um, however, I started posting pictures, and uh, uh, Nick, who's a friend of mine over on Instagram, uh, his Instagram is uh, Burns Be Gone, and I will post a link to that in the uh, description of this video. Let's see if we can get a little more space to work. There we go. That's a little better. Um, said, have you ever had the version one of the War Admiral? And I said, no. And he said, well... Let's do something about that. So, he sent this along <laughs> for me to check out. This is the version one of the War Admiral. And, uh, well, let's get some of this other stuff off the table and run these two side by side, and we can see where the changes are. Uh, I have to tell you, my initial response is that I'm sorry I don't have one of these. Um, the War Admiral V2, as you can see, they are very similar in overall shape. But the War Admiral V2 has these milled titanium scales and a slightly different blade. Now, the V2 is hollow ground, where the V1 is not. Um, they're just, beyond that, they're very similar in blade. But the handle, the handle really tells a different story. Now, this knife is very comfortable for me. But there is no shaping. Uh, they are just sort of flat slabs of titanium. The V1, with this milling, is exceptionally comfortable. It does dramatically change the way the knife feels in your hand. Now, the one he sent me is uh, DLC coated, and it has a uh, anodized, the, uh, as you can see, sorry, the scales here are anodized, a very deep bronze. Um, now, while this not, would not have been my color choices, uh, it is beautiful. They have a very uh, similar pocket clip, if not the same. But the changes are interesting. Now, whereas this knife has a relatively simple, although massive, blade shape, a lot of the work clearly went into the handle. You know, the milling and the shape of the titanium on the handle. When he made the V2, it's clear that he shifted his attention over to the blade. It has this fuller. As I said, it's hollow ground. These are both exceptionally slicey knives. Now, because this is a loner, and it's just here for me to look at, I didn't beat up on it. <laughs> but I did do some basic cutting. Uh, some paper, some cardboard, you know, bits and pieces of other things. And they cut very similarly. Now, the hollow grind on this one means that it passes through thicker material just a little easier, but the handle comfort of this one, well, I wish very much that my, V1, my V2 had this V1 handle. Um, there are some other subtle differences. There is a visible screw here, a couple of visible screws, as you can see. There is a lanyard hole which he did away with on the V2. The screws are both directions and go through a backspacer, uh, where on the V1, excuse me, the V2 here, this entire scale, this side, is one piece of titanium, and the screws come through from this side and go right into the titanium, so there's no separate backspacer. They have very similar jimping. I love when knife makers do stuff like this. He took his original idea, made it, it was popular. Excuse me, there's some schmutz on my blade. 
and then down the road decided to sort of update the pattern a little bit and re-release the knife in a way that is different enough that people that own one of these might be inspired to get one of these. Well, I'll tell you, if I come across a V1 for sale, I'm going to buy it because they are, even though they are very similarly shaped, they are very different knives. I think that's very cool. So let's do some basic specs on this one, as we tend to do here on the channel. While we've got it out and about, let's do some size comparisons. Here it is against the Benchmade Bugout, and as you can see, it is a much larger knife than the Bugout. If we put it up against our friend here, the Presidio 2, you can see that the Presidio 2 is a little bit bigger, particularly through the handle. But the uh, the War Admiral V1 has uh, more, as much if not just a little bit more blade, uh, which I think is very, very cool. It is a full-size knife and fun to carry for it. The blade length on the V1, if you've watched my V2 review, you're going to know most of this, is one, two, three, and a little over three and a half inches on a little over three and a half inches of this S35 VN blade. It is from the handle right behind the flipper. You get one, two, three, four, and a little tiny bit, four and an eighth inch of grip, which is why it is such a stellar knife in hand. And again, unlike the V2, the way this is shaped and milled, it just settles into the hand beautifully. Now that's my hand. If you have smaller hands, this might not work quite as well for you. But for me, <laughs> this is just a spectacular knife. The action is, well, spectacular is the word I'm going to use. Uh, much like all of the VDK knives that I've had the opportunity to own, uh, the action tends to be absolutely out of this world. And the War Admiral version 1 is no exception. And... It's smooth. The V2 is very drop shut. The V1, it may not show on camera, but it's just a little slower and not in a bad way. It's a little glassier. It's really very nice. I am very grateful that Nick sent this over to me to look at. Um, I just think that's so cool. You know, but one of the things about doing this is that I get the opportunity to handle and look at some just astonishing knives. The War Admiral V1 is just an astonishing knife. So, I guess the question is, which one should you buy if you're into this sort of thing? Well, either one will suit you. The V1s are a little harder to come by. I've seen more of the V2s out there in the world, if you're hunting for one. Um, but if you're interested... They do show up on the secondary market, and I don't think you could go wrong with either one. It comes down a little bit to an aesthetic choice. If you like the fuller, if you like the hollow grind, or if you like a slightly more comfortable handle, that would be the, the direction you'd want to go. The overall length of this wonderful monster is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and a quarter inches long overall. It is... A really full-size knife and again because of this beautiful blade shape when these things are close they do eat up a fair amount of pocket space but they are also an easy carry because they're not super thick now this one the blade centering is dead on everything about this knife is immaculate but I can tell it's seen some pocket time with Nick uh, that tends to be uh, since all but one of my VDKs are used, uh, I can tell you that um, they don't take it, they don't show wear a lot, and that's a really nice feature. And this one is no different. You know, there are there are a little bit on the blade, and you can see that it's a bit time in the pocket, but it just holds up. And that, of course, is a sign of a really well-made knife when it just holds up. So let's go ahead and get a weight on it, just for fun. Excuse my arm.
All right, so the V1 here weighs, that's 160 grams or 5.6 ounces. By way of comparison, the V2 is 5.8 ounces. It is a little heavier, and that has to do with, I think, this single piece of titanium. Let's do a blade stock comparison. Blade stock on the uh, version one, if we go to the thickest point, is 3.9 millimeters. On the V2, just at four millimeters just yeah so the v2 is a little bit thicker in the blade stock through the handle we are at 12 millimeters or 12. just at a half inch and on the v2 almost exactly the same uh, this is a, just at a half inch so they are very very similar in many ways I love this design. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I wish very much that I had one of these. And so I will hunt for one, uh, just because I would very much like to expand and sort of grow my VDK collection. So uh, hopefully down the road a ways, you will see an update review where I share mine with you. But for today, I'd very much like to thank Nick at Burns Be Gone over on Instagram for sharing this knife with me. Uh, and Vlad, of course, for designing knives that I think are just beautiful. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up there. This has been my opportunity to look at the VDK War Admiral version 1, and uh, it is one gorgeous knife, and I have really enjoyed this. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. I'd love to have you here on a regular basis. We'll see you next time.